Let us start with some recent developments in the theory of terminology. The past two decades have brought dramatic shifts to the understanding of concepts, definitions and the linguistic reality of intercultural communication. Instead of static, concepts are now known to be dynamic, changing over time and influenced by various factors. The concept-based the concept -based approach does not provide the methodological framework which would explain the richness of term variation and its relation to register or style. Furthermore, new findings in cognitive science reveal that rather than stable nodes, concepts should be thought of as layers of associative networks reloaded each time they are evoked. The definitions people use in their papers, theses or textbooks are quite different from the formal Aristotelian definitions that we met in the previous unit, and yet they seem to serve their purpose. Finally, and not surprisingly, knowledge has a cultural dimension, which is true even in hard sciences such as physics or geology. There are several conclusions to be drawn from this. There is no, no formal distinction between words and terms, or in other words, all terms are words, but not all words are terms. Um, secondly, contextual factors are crucial when trying to distinguish terms from non-terms. Term variation is a common thing, and yet it doesn't seem to affect communication in any negative way. And the concept-based approach may prove inadequate for multilingual terminology work. Terminology re researchers responded to these challenges by bringing new dimensions into the picture. One of the first authors to advertise the use of specialized corpora for terminology was Jennifer Pearson in the 90s. She says, among other things, that in the absence of a usable definition of term, uh, we approach the question from a different angle and look more closely at the circumstances in which terms are likely to be used. The next important step was uh, the communicative approach advocated by uh, Maria Teresa Cabré, who claims that the termin terminological unit is composed of a linguistic, a cognitive and a socio-communicative socio component. And finally, from the beginning of this century to this day, we're witnessing a surge of interest in the cognitive dimensions of terminology, in particular by authors such as Rita Timmerman and Pamela Faber. The latter is the founder of the so-called frame-based terminology, which tries to model specialized domains through cognitive frames or templates.